hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Psychology Eats is here to help you. What's eating you? If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, hi. How are you? I do reaction videos to uh, mostly folks in the black mukbang specter. Did I say specter? Sector. And today, you read the title. This is hot off the presses. Um, those of you who follow Get Lit With Mo, she is a mukbanger. And she does a lot of prank videos. And she has like a whole team of people. Um, Vaughn and Ray and Vicky. And some other people that um, are on her mukbang team or whatever. <clears throat> you know, they family. So they do a lot of videos. They do a lot of videos together. Wonderful videos. Really good content. Always laugh. Kiki, ha ha. Well, Mo is engaged to Mimi. And Momo and Mimi, um, Mimi calls her Momo, but Mo and Mimi have been together for almost 10 years. Or 10 years, something like that. Anyway, Mimi also has a channel. It's called Rasta Swisher. Swisher. Yes. That's her channel. But anyway, what happened was... Mo and Mimi, I'm going to give you my psychology behind all of this in a second, but I'm just giving you the backdrop of what, who everyone is. So, Mimi, I'll describe Mimi as pretty much, Mimi is a hothead. Mimi don't take a lot of ish from nobody and she'll, and she'll go off. Mimi will go off. Momo and Mimi have two kids too. They like. Ava's about five, and then the big boy, he's about eight. So, they have two kids, a couple of dogs. Anyway, now, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. That's Momo and Mimi. They have a friend named Vaughn. Vaughn has a channel also, like I said, and his wife, Vicky, and then they got a couple of kids. Vaughn is hysterical. Watch Vaughn. Vaughn, crazy family. That's his channel. So, anyway... Mimi and them, Mimi and Momo, I think they from Milwaukee. <clears throat> but they moved to Texas. And recently, Vaughn moved his family from Milwaukee to Texas. And they, surpri uh, they surprised all of us. Um, and they bought a big, like, mini mansion in Texas. I get, you know, that they're going to share the house together. These two families are going to come together, share the house. Now, let me tell you something. When I initially saw that, it was a red flag for me. I'm like, mm -mm, that ain't, that ain't going to work. That ain't going to work. Vicky, the wife, it seems very calm, very sweet, very nice. But you know, my mother always said, two grown women, two women cannot live in the same house and share a house. Once a woman becomes grown, women got to be, they got to be in their own house. Because you do your own shit the way you like to do it in your own house. So anyway, they don't be, <clears throat> they've shared this mansion for about, I'm going to say about two weeks now. And everything was going Everything was going pretty smooth. But like I said, in the back of my head, I was like, first of all, Mimi, I ain't going to lie. I thought you was going to be the one to mess it up. I thought you would snap on Vicky. And if you snap on Vicky, then Vaughn going to snap on you. And then the whole thing will be a mess. Or you going to get mad at their kid. Now, Vicky and, and um, Vaughn's kids are grown. You know, teenage kids. It's just combining two families together. It just it just don't work. Especially in our country. Other countries, they live collectively. Over here, we don't live collectively like that. We like our own shit. We do our shit. Anyway, 
the house is huge, but it's one kitchen. One kitchen. And, and, and what if Vicky decided she was going to make, you know, uh, a lasagna and then Mimi in there trying to make uh, uh, pasta and then they get in, they, they like that. So, anywho, they all the other day was the other night. It could have been last night. I'm going to post this. So, anyway, they was all on live. They do everything. That's their their jobs is all social media. They on Bingo, YouTube, Facebook, all of that. So, they film each other and stuff all day, every day. So, Mimi dropped the video. So Okay, so they was on live. I didn't see it. But apparently, they were on live and everybody was drunk as a skunk. Red flag number one, problem number one, in there drinking. Everybody was drinking and smoking. Mm -hmm. And you know when you drink and smoke, shit pops off. So here go Mimi and Mo. don't got into a fight. <clears throat> Mimi and Mo don't got into a fight. Physical altercation, allegedly, um... Mimi popped Mo and lit. Allegedly. Okay, so of course they start going off, whatever, whatever. According to uh according to um what's the name, child? Mimi, Vicky being the peacemaker said, Let me take the kids out of here. I don't want these kids to see y'all in here fighting. Cause at the end of the day, they two women. They they are a gay couple. Um, but they two women. So they went to Scrapping allegedly. Oh Lord! Now everybody in the comment sections is saying that this is all fake and it's a prank. I'm telling you, they master prankers. They master prankers, all of them, the whole house. But usually they prank each other. They don't really prank us. I don't. I don't think it's a prank. I don't think it's a prank. I'm going to go on record of saying I don't think it's me. Because I'm reading body language. I'm looking in their eyes. I'm studying the camera. And I'm like, uh-uh. This ain't fake. Them bitches. <laughs> These efforts is really out here fighting. I'm so mad at y'all. Get it together. Get it together. I don't believe Vaughn and his family ever really intended to stay there forever. And cohabitate with y'all for, for with the family forever. It was a jump start for them to get them themselves established in um in Texas and then get their own shit, obviously. But damn, the shit didn't even work a good month. So then Mimi driving around. Mimi want. So then Mo went live. Mo went live, and Mimi came home, and Mo and Mimi is just a cussing and a carrying on. So listen, y'all, we don't know if this is a prank, if this is true. I believe it's real. I don't think, I'm going to go on record saying it's not fake. I believe that they really are just up in there acting like hoodlums. All right, here's my psychological advice. Here's my advice. Mimi and Mo immediately go to counseling. This is not the end of y'all relationship because y'all don't y'all pop off like this. I want y'all to have a family meeting and set some ground rules. Set some ground rules. Vaughn, if Mimi and Mo are fighting, go on the other side of the house. I don't care if you hear them down there dragging each other all over the kitchen. Stay out of it. Go on the other side of the house. Go plus just distract the kids. Do something. This house is big enough that nobody even got to hear them fight you. Okay, that's the one. Two, Mo and, and Mimi, y'all need to go to counseling before y'all get married. This is not the end of your relationship. Y'all will be fine. You'll get sober and everybody will be fine. You'll apologize to each other. Y'all will be all right. Vicky, when they start acting up, go on the other side of the house. Don't pay them. Don't get in the middle of that. Don't get in the middle of they mess and let me tell y'all something what y'all might need to do even if it didn't start as a prank as pretend it was y'all all get in this end it 
if this is going to be a series, if this is going to be, y'all, sometimes I eat on the channel. That's why it's called Psychology Eats. Well, I'm just eating. I'm finishing up. I had a, um, a chocolate frosty. So, yes. Get lit with Mo. Go and watch that channel. It's very interesting. They got a lot of new content coming out. They've already told us. And I don't know if this is a new series, but if it's not, either way, I'm going to be following this case. I'm going to be following this case. And like I said, Mimi and Mo, I want you in counseling. You, you need to go to premarital counseling. First of all, hitting each other is not okay. I don't care if it's two women, two men, man, woman. Do not keep your hands off of each other. Mimi, you violated Mo when you hit her, allegedly, according to you and the live. You violated her. Disrespectful. And sometimes when people are angry, they say a lot. Mimi mentioned that she doesn't feel like Vicky, she feels like Vicky and Vaughn are Mo's friends and like they're not her friends. Therefore, they jump on her side. And then Vaughn, you're the man of the house. You got to be, I mean, I would hope that you would have been more of the peacekeeper. Not that the man has to be the peacekeeper, but, you know, you have, you got to, sometimes the man got to, hey, the man got to raise his voice and settle down. You know, and the, and the women, you know, sometimes women can back off from that. A, a man, you know, but they say you, according to the um, comment section and according to Mimi, you was route, you was geesing the shit up. Like you was all ah, like getting everybody, getting Mo even more hyped up. Yeah, I hope that ain't true because you needed to be calming Mo down, not getting things, um, even more riled up. Vaughn. Now who name is on the lease and all I mean, is y'all renting it's y'all buy this? Is it? <sighs> Mimi even went to the police station on y'all ass. Mimi went to the police station. Like Mimi's playing no, she ain't playing with y'all. She's mad. This better not be no damn prank, because y'all don't got me involved, and I don't have to do a video. All right, y'all. If, if you're new to the channel, and if you like my content, um, please subscribe. You know, I might. This is my first time covering um, Get Lit With Mo, but I thought this little piece was interesting. And I thought that I could, you know, give them some, some advice. You know, for those of you who don't know, y'all, I've been a clinician and um, psychiatry for... 30 years. I even told him in the live chat, listen, if this is a real situation, I will do family counseling. We can Zoom it. We can stream yard it, whatever. It's up to y'all. And I won't even charge you, you know, because I'm just interested. What is this? Alright, also, if you like my glasses, this is a promo now for my niece's eyeglass case. Um, company. Okay. If you like my glasses, these are readers. If you like these readers, please go over to Aisha Denise. Aisha Denise. Let me see her card. If you like these glasses, these are readers. This is her information. Yep. Go over and order you a pair of glasses. These are kind of what's kind of new on the site. These are readers. These also come in red. And these are, this is my style. I like a big, bold, black glasses. I have them in all shapes and sizes. Usually big like this. Big face, big glasses. But thank you guys. Thank you anyone who's new and came over to see what I was talking about. I appreciate it the view. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, bye!